All right, now we're going to go on and talk about the receive handler. The job of the, the signature of the receive handler is takes in a model and a message and puts out a new model. For example, um, this one here, it, my dummy receive handler just takes in um, the model and puts out the same model regardless of what message it receives. It won't pass any of these checks, of course. So um, the the receive handler setup is, is the player's docmo. So far, I've typed some stuff and I've received the message A. So far, that's my only the only thing in my chat history. And so I'm going to pretend that I have a new message coming in. So make chat message, uh, new chat message from Marguerite, and the message is B. So what's supposed to happen is the B is supposed to get put in my chat history. My chat history. Oh, well, maybe it's, I think actually it should say, um, put Marguerite colon B in the chat history. Now, maybe your message will have the Marguerite and the B all together in it. Um, but in this example, mine is not going to. So when we write a check expect for the receive handler, the old model is 4P and my four message, the one I just typed. So now what's supposed to happen is make player doc mo still type in. And the, now the received messages list should have Marguerite B. I see I spelled Marguerite wrong as the first message and A as the second message. You notice that I added onto the front of the list. The reason I added onto the front of the list is because it's easier to add there. So hopefully we've already, I'm, I'm sure we've already arranged for the front of the list to appear um, at like at the bottom of the, the shown messages. So well, that's the way to do it. That's all we got.